Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Thomas Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the single most important way to prevent yourself from getting hacked. This means, uh, you know, what do I mean by being hacked? Well, let's say someone gets into your email, you're hacked. Let's say someone gets some of your passwords, hacked, steals your credit card, hacked, takes your IP address, uses it to dox you in some way or another, hacked, gets inside your computer via a virus or some other malicious file, hacked. These are all things you can prevent with one easy method. Now guys, I'm also going to be mentioning some of my favorite tools that will help you alongside this knowledge to secure your internet privacy and also your computer. So guys, let's first talk about what I'm talking about. Now today I got a message uh, from someone trying to fish me, hack my Gmail uh, that I use for business um, or something like that, or to grab my IP address or something like that as well. This is a method message that looks like someone gifted me Disco or Nitro. Now this is something that is pretty tricky. You might go into your email account and see a message like this and you're like, oh, someone, uh, you know, gave me Discord Nitro. I'm going to click on that. And you could see from the bottom right that this link is going to take me somewhere weird. So guys, I went ahead and looked up this link on this website called urlquery.net where you could paste in a link and get information on it. This is what it looks like. Um, it's basically a phishing um, link. Basically what it will do is take you to this website. If you click on this link, it'll try to steal your discord information. So it looks like someone was trying to gain access to my discord. Um, and we can see with uh, some of the, the block list here, looks like it is a phishing link. And here is some information about DNS and other reports on this link. So this is a good website to check out urlquery.net to check out some uh, links like this sketchy one. Uh, definitely do not go to it, but keep that in mind, uh, urlquery.net. Uh, this link is definitely not legit and I definitely do not want to click on that. Not only that guys, but that's one way to tell right away is from seeing the link down there, seeing what it looks like. You can kind of obfuscate that link as well to see something is not quite right. If it was a Discord Nitro thing, most likely it would be discord.gg slash something or something to that effect. Not only that though, guys, you always want to check the disc, the header of the email text. At first glance, it looks like something from Discord, but if you look at the actual email ID, it's definitely not something related to Discord. They made this look pretty good. It looks exactly like Discord, but all these links are going to somewhere that is definitely not Discord. So if I clicked on any of this, I could have my account compromised. It could download something to my computer or anything like that. And that's definitely a no go. So that's one of the best ways to prevent yourself from getting hacked. Probably the single most important way pre to preventing yourself from being hacked is the knowledge alone that if you click on an email, you need to check the header to see if it's recognizable to the email contents. And you also should not click on things generally within emails if you want to be safe. Depending on what it is, of course, there is some variability with how, you know, what you should click on within certain emails. And this is something you'll learn over time. But if you're super paranoid, just don't click on anything and you're going to be a step above most people uh, that get hacked all the time. Now, you might be thinking, well, I already know this or now that I know this, what else can I do to protect my computer internet privacy? Well, one of the things you want to do probably is get a VPN. VPNs will help you obfuscate your IP address. So if you do click on something like this, um, lots of times they will grab your IP address and find your real world location or at least a generalized location of your uh, location. It will probably show the city or something like that where they could thereby kind of see other details about you and try to figure out where you are. Uh, maybe they know your real name. They could verify that general location with something like white pages and find out where you are. So definitely you need to obfuscate your IP address. Some VPNs even include um, anti-malware, ad blockers and stuff like that, which are all also helpful. 
So which VPNs should you choose? Well, I would go for none other than my VPN quiz. My VPN quiz helps you decide from uh, some of my top rated VPNs. It will walk you through the steps to decide exactly what is the best VPN for you, pretty much depending on exactly your specific use case. So go ahead and check that out. Also guys, I would recommend something like Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes is a free or paid service where you can um, protect your computer. Now the good thing about Malwarebytes is it has kind of like a scanning kind of thing where you can get rid of malware and stuff like that. Um, this is pretty much what it's going to be. Um, but the one I like using is the premium version, which gives you kind of real time protection. So if you do screw up and click on something, lots of times certain websites, sketchy websites, um, it will protect you from downloading Trojans and stuff like that. So this is also something I would recommend alongside a VPN. Also guys, one other thing you might want to check out is something called Bitwarden. Now Bitwarden is a completely free service. You could pay if you do want to support them a little more, um, but it's free and will help you manage your passwords. Just something I wanted to mention in passing, open source, audited, everything like that. Check out Bitwarden as well. I'll put links for all these products in the description down below. Uh, VPN quiz to help you find your VPN. I made that quiz myself. Malware bytes, protect your computer um, as well as you can, um, and Bitwarden for password management. Anyways, guys, I hope that video helped you out. I'll see you again in the next video very soon.